if you do something like this while wearing an ankle monitor, maybe you shouldn't be out. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a Chicago man who was busted for carjacking due to the GPS data from his ankle monitor. Now, this is of no surprise. I mean, guys like this with an extensive criminal background, which we'll get into in a minute, are going to commit crime over and over again. It doesn't really matter if they have an ankle monitor. It doesn't matter if they're being watched by the federales, by the locals. It doesn't really matter. They're going to commit crimes regardless. What he should have done is just stayed at the house, not get in any kind of trouble, keep his nose clean. But of course... He can't do it. He's got to go out there and not just commit a simple offense like being a little bit too far from home, like going and even just stealing the candy bar from a corner store. You can't do anything simple like that. You got to go out there and carjack somebody. Completely ridiculous. Now, before we even get into the article about the carjacking, let's go back a little bit. 2016, if you search this guy's name, Key Rooney Buford on the internets, you're going to find some things. Now, on this incident back in 2016, he was charged with a robbery. And in this robbery, they beat up a 64-year-old man, took his wallet and his phone. Okay, now, luckily, this man did not die. He did get injured, but he didn't die. Guys like this... They're going to be the ones in the community committing crime over and over and over and over and over again unless they're dealt with early. Guys like this, repeat offenders, beating up elderly people, you're going to the penitentiary, Bit Rocks, Little Rocks. You're not going to come home anymore. If I could be the king and I could just do whatever I want to do, rule by fiat, these guys would never come home. When you have repeat offenses, it's not as simple as you're a young person making a mistake, all this and that. You still should get punished because I don't believe in the whole thing. Oh, he was a good boy. I don't really believe in that. But when you are, how old were these guys at this time? 21, 23, 21. When you are that old and now this guy is 30 years old, still doing the same thing. You're fully aware of what's going on. You know what you're doing. You need to get put away. All right. It's just as simple as that. Now, here is the most recent thing that Mr. Buford has done, the carjacking while on an ankle monitor. And the ankle monitor was not even for the 2016 incident. It was for something else. Again, lengthy rap sheet. Let's get into the article. And if you want to read the article without my commentary, link, as always, will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. You see the headline here, carjacker busted thanks to his ankle monitors GPS data, according to the prosecutors. Chicago police detectives relied on a silent witness to bring carjacking charges against 30-year-old Key Rooney Buford, the electronic monitoring and GPS bracelets he was wearing. Prosecutors said the ankle monitor's location data played a key role in the investigation as cops investigated the hijacking which occurred around 2 a.m. on September the 16th. Now, here's the thing about that. I'm not a criminal, never been arrested, never, never been questioned by the police. I am a nerd. I stay in the house. I don't do any kind of thing. I've lived around these kind of guys, but I never, ever got involved, ever. But even me as a, a square, L7, even me, I know what an ankle monitor does. If you have that on, they're going to know where you are. So if you leave in the house, leave in the state, leave in the country, they're going to know. They literally have a monitor. They call it an ankle monitor. Why do you think that is? Because they're monitoring you. They're, they know where you are. They know what is going on. So if there's a reported carjacking and you are known to be a criminal, violent offender, maybe even a carjacker before or whatever it is, if you're known to be that and the carjacking is near where you were, I mean, they could just put two and two together and easily get four. What kind of moron does things like this? Oh, a career criminal, a guy that has been committing crime over and over again for many, many, many years. Let's keep on going. A 47-year-old woman was sitting in a 2021 Nissan Sentra in a 7600 block of South 
Champlain, when two men climbed in and forced her out at gunpoint, police tracked the car to a nearby McDonald's. That's where you're going to go to McDonald's? Okay. <laughs> I mean, ghetto stuff. Anyway, a surveillance video showed Buford getting out of the passenger seat. Prosecutors said in the petition to have him detained as a safety threat. So not only did they track the vehicle, look, they tracked the car. These are modern vehicles, 2021. They're going to be able to track it. So they tracked the car to McDonald's. They looked at the camera and saw him get out of the car and they had an ankle monitor on him to identify that it was him. And they saw him on camera. I mean, look guys in the, in the, in the so-called streets, and really on the internet talking about, oh, so-and-so is a snitch. So-and-so is a rat. I don't like snitches. The, the, the whole snitch thing is totally stupid because the police don't even need people to tell. That's for like high level stuff. For regular non for regular ghetto nonsense like this, they have technology that does auto quote unquote snitching for them. They see what you do before you do it. They don't rely on snitches too much unless they want to entrap you, but that's a different story and I digress. Let's keep on going. Uh, those ankle monitors trapped to view for a month earlier in connection with a domestic battery matter. Again, I showed you the 2016 um, allegation charge or whatever with the robbery. That was years ago. The most recent thing was a domestic battery. So you beating up old men, you're beating up your old lady. You're beating up random women. You just are a violent person that really shouldn't be out. Again, I got like this, man, under the penitentiary, Big Rocks, Little Rocks. Make it simple. So this guy does not terrorize the community over and over and over and over and over again the way he's doing. But anyway, so the anchor monitor put him at the scene of the crime. The petition said his phone location data pinged along with the car's movements after the hijacking too. So, okay, look, man, you got a phone. They they got you. <laughs> they got everything. The car, they tracked the car. They saw you on the camera. You had an ankle monitor on, and you had your phone. They pinged that, too. There's no need for anybody to snitch against you, sir. All the evidence you had on you, you snitched on you. You put your face in the camera. You carjacked at the car with tracking on it. You beat your old lady up and then had an ankle monitor on. That tracked you. You had a cell phone. You were there looking at OnlyFans and Instagram and everything else. Doing that, they were able to ping right to where you are. I mean, come on. Also on his phone was a picture of the carjack vehicle registration information and a text message he sent to another person about a stolen car. Uh, quote, as who stole the car, defendant responded, me, LOL, prosecutors claim. A moron. Judge Charles Beach ordered Buford jail to await trial. Buford has been featured on CWB Chicago several times. He was one of three men accused of attacking and robbing a 64-year-old Boys Town resident. And I was, like, that's a case I showed you earlier, October 2016. Police said they found the victim's credit cards and cash on Buford. Two men arrested with him had the victim's wallet and phone. Judge Timothy Chambers sentenced him to six years in 2018. Buford was on parole at the time of that robbery for, mug, for mugging another Boys Town resident in 2013. So, look, in 2013, you robbed somebody. Then you were on parole. You were on parole for that and then beat somebody up in 2016. You did six years in the joint or you were sentenced to that. Now, rather than changing your ways and doing something different, you're still out here engaging in the same old nonsense, engaging in the same old crime. As I close, I want to say this. Um, <laughs> people got to stop, man. Criminals need to stop committing crime. And I'm sorry, man. Guys that, that are like that, there's no purpose in going easy on them. There's no reason to try and say, oh, they're going to turn their life around and be better. Throw the book at them. Uh, Joe Biden wasn't all the way wrong with the crime bill. I'll tell you that. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Um, have you heard about these kind of things before where a guy is wearing an ankle monitor and then goes out and commits more crime? You're on parole. You commit a crime. Ankle monitor, commit a crime. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Guys like this, 
do not belong in society. Throw them away. Throw them away. Look, you are a young person, you committed crime, do your time, come home, do better. You can't be getting chance after chance after chance. Guys talking about, well, I got a felony, I can't get a job. I know plenty of guys that have done time like that. I personally got friends that done six years in the penitentiary, in the penitentiary, 10 years in the penitentiary, come home and do something, okay? Become merchant seaman, merchant marine, start driving trucks, do things with your life. Because really what's going to end up happening is somebody might end up deleting this person. Then you see the funeral, their grandma may be crying over the casket. Okay, cool, but where were you at when this guy was committing violent crime against random innocent people for many years? Beating his girlfriend up, beating old ladies up, beating old men up, taking the wallet and their phone and bragging about carjacking people. Where were you at during that time? Now he's dead. You want to start crying and hollering and hooting, carrying on. <laughs> Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace. <laughs>